Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eli Osiris, and today we're going to be talking about the Second Amendment, what it is, and basically the general breakdown of, of where it came from, and, and I'm going to break down every single part of what it means. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because yesterday I, I made a video about the recent mass shooting in Canada, and I received a rather angry string of comments from a Canadian. Um, I guess he didn't watch my full video because he said that I was insulting them. But if you watch the video, you could see that all I'm doing is giving out education of what happened and why I don't believe gun control works. And he mentioned in the string of comments, which is going to be posted here for you to see, that he said that us Americans do not know what the Second Amendment actually means, which I found that completely false. I feel like out of everybody, you know, someone like him, a Canadian, someone who's not a part of this country, shouldn't be telling us how to read our own Second Amendment. So I feel like I should take the time to bring everyone the education of what the Second Amendment is. So here we go. All right, so as it reads, the Second Amendment is a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. So what does that mean? All right, we're going to break this down basically word for word. A well-regulated militia, according to Merriam-Webster, is to govern or direct according to rule, to bring under control of law or constituted authority, to make regulations for or concerning, to bring order, method, or uniformity to, or to fix or adjust the time, amount, degree, or rate of. Now, the next word is militia, and according to Oxford Dictionaries, uh, it is a noun, and it reads, a military force that is raised, emphasis on the raised, from the civil population to supplement a regular army in an emergency or a military force that engages in rebel or terrorist activities in opposition to a regular army. And the last one is all able-bodied civilians eligible by law for military service. All right, so the next word is necessary, which according to the same Oxford di dictionaries means required to be done, achieved, or present needed or essential. The next definition is security, which according to the same dictionary, Oxford Dictionaries, is the state of being free from danger or threat or the safety of a state or organization against criminal activity such as terrorism, theft, or espionage. The next definition is free, which from the same dictionary, Oxford Dictionaries, means not under the control or in the power of another, able to act or be done as one wishes, or not or no longer confined or imprisoned. The next definition is state, which means the particular condition that someone or something is in at a specific time, or a nation or territory considered as an organized political community under one government. The next definition is rights, which, or right, which is a moral or legal entitlement to have or obtain something or to act in a certain way. The next definition being people means human beings in general or considered collectively. The next definition is keep, which means have or retain possession of or continue or cause to continue in a specified condition, position, course, etc. The next definition is bear arms, which means to carry firearms. The next definition is shall not, which means shall is used for both expressing a strong assertion or intention and expressing an instruction or command. And the last definition is infringed, which means actively break the terms of a law, agreement, etc. or act so as to limit or undermine something or encroach on. So what does that mean in a nutshell? It means that as the people, we have the inalienable right to govern the rate of production of a military force 
that is raised from the civil population during an emergency, which is required to ensure the freedom, security, and rights of the people as a collective and is the right to retain possession of firearms in order to accomplish this goal and shall not be infringed or halted in any capacity by the government or any outside governing body. That is what the Second Amendment means basically broken down. Now, the Second Amendment was um, written by James Madison, who was a member of the Philadelphia Constitutional Convention in 1787, and he drafted it and brought it to the House of Representatives in Congress on 8 June 1789, and it was ratified in 15 December 1791. It is also a part of the Ten Amendments drafted by Madison, who, you know, is the father of the Constitution. He was also the fourth president of the United States. So that is where the Second Amendment came from. Now, for the sake of this video, um, I'm going to be ending it here soon. I'm only going to use one example of why the Second Amendment is the most important amendment out of the rest of them. And the example of history of why it's important is the Battle of Concord, which was on April 19th, 1775, otherwise known as the shot heard round the world. And what was the Battle of Concord about? Well, the Battle of Lexington and Concord was the first military engagement of the American Revolutionary War. Um, and essentially what it was about was about 700 British Army regulars in Boston under control of Lieutenant Colonel Francis Smith. They were given orders by the King, which was a secret, to capture and destroy the colonial military supplies that was apparently reported back that was stored in the, uh, the church in Massachusetts and see what they were doing was they they were getting firearms and supplies to build at the Patriot Army they weren't just given the Patriot Army it didn't fall out of the sky you have to build that so in, uh, you know in the meantime you're gonna need a militia to, de to defend everything and uh, the Patriots knew about this so Paul Revere and Samuel Prescott rode out and told everybody that the British was coming and they had a signal in the Old North Church in Boston to use a lantern to communicate one if by land, two if by sea. And basically at that point the first shots were fired. 700 British regulars versus 70 um, militiamen and the militiamen lost eight men and the regulars lost one soldier essentially. So that is why the Second Amendment is necessary and why it's the most important one because at that time they didn't have a military they were forming it they, they needed uh, to have these firearms to form a uh, well-regulated militia and so they had to defend this and the shot heard around the world was a gun confiscation that's that's what it was was they were going to confiscate the guns and we wouldn't let them so there was a war started from all of this so thank you so much uh for all of y'all taking the time to watch my videos i really appreciate it definitely like comment and subscribe if you agree or disagree i mean at the end of the day it's your opinion it's my opinion but i just presented the facts so i mean you can argue and say a dictionary is false but at that time you're just making up your own basically so um yeah i there you go. I mean, there's the facts laid out. But thank you so much. Uh, write in the comments what you think about this video. And I'll see you next time.